Hello lovelies, you're welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you back. So, in today's video, I will be giving you reasons why Nigerians marry foreigners a lot. Yes, I heard you. That's over two years now. The reason update, and this is why I decided to make this video again. Okay. Relax, everybody relax. So, first of all, Nigerians marry foreigners a lot because Nigerians are well traveled. But of course, I know you know this reason already. That's true though. Because if you know Nigerians, you know that Nigerians travel a lot. And it is said that in a country where you find no Nigerian, mm -mm -mm, be wary because there is no, you know, chala chala there. We go far and wide to hustle, to make money, to make ends meet. And that's because Nigeria is overcrowded with graduates who do not find, you know, work in the labor market and thereby stranded into doing only business or going somewhere else to achieve the dream work or the dream job that they want even if it's not dream work, but at least to get to make some money so that is why you will see that nigerians travel out of nigeria to any good country where they can actually work and make a living Yes, when you talk about this, Nigerians are hardworking and they do not mind to work and make money. So, while on this journey of trying to make their dreams come true, of trying to achieve money, of trying to get a better life, they get to meet people of various nationalities. And when they meet those people, some fall in love. Trust a real Nigerian man. If he loves you, he wants you for keeps. So he marries you. This is the main reason that our Nigerian men marry foreigners for. Another reason that has come to my attention it may seem expensive, but it's true. So some Nigerian men are now marrying foreigners for papers mm -hmm. yes green card papers whatever it is that will help them achieve that dream of staying in that place in which they have gone to say they're in the u.s or in the uk or spain france wherever it is they are okay so most nigerian guys will go there the unmarried ones who fall in love will get married but unfortunately now we're beginning to see that even married nigerian men who are married and have children right back in nigeria with their wives are also using this means to get favors from the foreign women because they are looking for papers especially the married ones the single ones you have nothing to lose if you fall in love you get the woman that you love i see no reason but unfortunately the married ones are also beginning to tow that part lying that they are unmarried thereby getting on a foreign wife to marry them keeping a new wife in a foreign land and also keeping their wives back home with their children and then sometimes their wives back home do not know about their marriage to the foreigner and the foreigner do not know about his marriage to his wife back home and sometimes sometimes on very you know rare occasions some of the wives would actually know that their husbands are married to a foreign wife and the husband will go ahead to say, you know what wife or you know what babe is actually for our own good. You know I cannot stay in this country to work and make money to take care of you and the kids. Except I have to hook on to somebody who in turn makes me eligible to stay in this place and work and blah 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 blah. So my ladies, after coming to this realization, I felt... Okay, 
it's time to share with my ladies exactly what's going on so just like you are there in a foreign land if you meet a nigerian man who has just come into your life and is sort of rushing you into the relationship rushing you into marriage rushing you in some certain things of course you will have this feeling like no something is wrong try try to investigate this guy try to make sure he's not married for me i've always told my ladies the very first place that i can actually try to verify someone to verify someone is facebook let's say because facebook has a way of connecting you to your past <laughs> yes mm -hmm. because i'm sure if you go to my facebook you will see my way back pictures way back chats people have chatted with even you know pictures of when i was like maybe in the university or i've just left the university i cannot be the same person that i am now it's true that some people lose their account and get it back but the first people or the first sets of people or group of people who will come right back to you those are your family and your close friends and relatives so this will all come back to you and surely your wife will come back to you and if you have kids who are old enough to use facebook they will come back to you so this is the fast way to verify really my ladies you know what kind of friend will i be if i don't come out to tell you exactly what is going on right now in the year 2022 it is so sad because right now as i sit here talking to you i got a very very you know annoying annoying gist from a friend who's like a family friend who has a husband who actually went to south africa he supposedly went to south africa like to study you know he said he was going to do his masters until date like five years later he's still not back and he calls home he talks to his wife he talks to his children and he's still you know giving reasons of why he's still not coming back and i asking myself like did he actually go to study in south africa and he's been there for five years by the way it's not an undergraduate course it's a postgraduate course I think his masters so five years still in south africa your wife five kids at home and you're still not coming back after five years and then i said to my husband no way yeah while discussing this with him like there is no way this guy is in south africa still alone still studying what is his studying in five years He's got his wife and kids back home waiting for him. I bet he's with another woman or maybe even married. And to make it worse, maybe even has some kids. This is what we're just discussing. So I thought about it. I'm like, no, times are changing. Things are getting more complicated. And everyone is looking for a means of survival. But why am a bit irritated by this gist that I got about this man who went to South Africa is the fact that he was actually a made man. He was made. So it's not like someone who went there to hustle. He's a made man. He was making money. He's got his wife, his children, all in school, everyone growing. When he said he was going to do this postgraduate course. And now five years into this whole thing and he's still not back. I cannot and do not want to believe that he's still studying for five years and living alone and being a single man and not coming back. So my ladies, just this reality just hit me with this whole gist that I, found, that I got today and I decided to come straight to you to tell you that in 2022, some men, some Nigerian men who go abroad are using marriage as a means of survival. Mm -hmm. They are using that as a means to get a stay. 
They are using it as a means to get papers. Some of them are well married with kids back home. Be sure to check that guy out. I feel so sad about this whole situation of this person because this is someone I know. I don't want to say much, but this is someone that I know, not very far away, but I know this person. And I feel so sad that this woman is beginning to get, you know, frustrated and confused and a bit sick, not getting her husband back, kids worrying over, you know. So I just felt like, you know how I come to you, my ladies, with the truth to tell you. Be careful because surely he's just gonna be there doing whatever it is he's doing and when he's tired he'll definitely come back home to meet his wife and kids with some stupid apologies and then they will take him back and then now he has left another woman married and maybe with kids somewhere else so my ladies just 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 verify whoever you meet verify that Nigerian man they can do anything to survive. They can do anything to survive in a foreign land, especially those that are desperate. Those that are not desperate, they will do the work that they are supposed to do, stay the amount of time that they are supposed to stay, achieve the success that they need. But the desperados will do what it is that needs to be done. So this is just it. I'm very sorry. I'm talking in this note, but that's because uh, at least you need to tell people what's going on. That way they know how to guard themselves. They know how to also protect themselves from those wolves in sheep clothing. You know what I mean, okay, my ladies? All right. So this is me coming to you telling you that reasons why some Nigerian men marry foreigners a lot is one. They fall in love, truthfully, yes. They fall in love. And secondly, they do that for another reason. And that's to gain something from you. E.g. papers, stay, anything. It is in ship by marriage, right? Yes. Whatever it is, however they call it, that's just it. So this is me saying, peace out. Not so in my usual mode, but still, because you all are my ladies, without further ado, to have a happy day, to have a wonderful day, stay happy, stay blessed, and be careful. Bye-bye.